our sneaky little late night mission to start this one then. Hi, welcome to the channel if you're new here and welcome back if you've been here before. Let's do this. loads of shit out my car oi 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 so here's the deal i'm in a place called nidderdale which is in yorkshire i've been up here for a couple of days and i think a night done a ton of hiking around trekked around all nidderdale checking it out and done a bit of supply running all of that in my previous two videos if you want to check it out but the mission for this one is pretty funky I'm going to be heading over to the west side of Yorkshire to a place near the Ribblehead Viaduct. And the plan is to find a decent little camping spot for the night, cook up a little bit of a munch, and then settle down for the night. And tomorrow, it's the big one. I'm going to be hitting one of the three peaks. But for now, it's an hour and a half drive from my location here to the Ribblehead Viaduct. So I think we better get some tunes on and mosey on over there. Let's do it. Gnarly our single track country roads to start it all off in the middle of the dark. Hey, it doesn't get any better than this. I think we're gonna have this the whole way over to the locale. I don't know if you can see him, but I've got a proper bell end up my arse who had his full main beam on a moment ago. Right up my jacks here. Ah, uh, sped right up behind me with his main beam on. What a muppet. Middleham, I don't know where the hell, well, I was gonna say I don't know where we are, but just passed a little sign saying the forbidden corner. How random is that? Comedies, look at this. Going through some little castle bridge thing. How random is that? Wow, pretty cool. <laughs> Wish you could see it in the daytime. It's a bit sketchy at night. Wow, quick pit stop then. Wow, check it out middle of nowhere. I don't know if you can see the stars, but it's a nice, clear, bright sky. Woo! All right, moving on. Loads of laybys around here. It really seems like car camper friendly in Yorkshire. I've seen a lot of big laybys, a lot of camper vans parked up. Ouch! And a lot of roadkill. <laughs> Just like that bit. Eee. Holy crap, I don't know what place this is, but I'm on a cobblestoned road here. Literally, cobblestone road. Like, where in the world do you get cobblestone roads anymore? And it's freaking my suspension up like a madman. Boy, damn. Here we go then, nine miles to Ingleton. Pretty sweet, nearly there. Good to go. Well, I'm about a mile and a half from the spot and I keep trying to like connect to the internet radio. Not cause like, I want music, but also because it's a good indicator of whether I'm going to have reception around there. And it's not just about having reception for like TV or anything, but it means I can get on the internet and find out research, maps and stuff for tomorrow's hike, which is going to be pretty important. Oh man, it's somewhere around here. It's just 300 metres. Yeah, this looks a bit random. Don't like the look of that old gnarly barn. Weird looking lights in the distance. Maybe that's the viaduct. I don't know. Oh, sheepy on the trail. Oh man, this could be it. This is it. I think this is it. All right, there's some campers here anyway. Um, oh shit, don't tell me they've taken up all the space. That'd suck. I think this is it. Yep, this is it. Um, let me uh, scope it out with my main beam on and just blind everybody that's here. We're gonna, uh, I think I'm gonna back in. No, I'm not. I'm gonna go front loader. Screw it. See if we can get a bit of flat ground. Unlikely. Well, there's something I'm saying I'm here, but I just wanna go and check it out outside. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, I can't get out. I'm gonna get, have to get that fixed. Yeah, I'm pretty far off the road. I appreciate you can't see Jack. There's a motorhome and a, another motorhome thing there. Um, yeah, I'm happy. Should be right. Moment of truth then. Do we have a phone signal? And, oh, channel's loaded. Will the video load? Okay, so I'm no mechanic, but I'm pretty sure 
That should be attached to the back of the car somewhere. <laughs> Man, looks like we're good to go. <laughs> On a serious note, though, we're only within spitting distance of the trailhead, which is about there for tomorrow morning, probably about a mile away. And the reason I chose this spot over the other ones down near the trailhead is because they've got no phone reception. So I think we looked out here and there's company, a couple of motorhomes, couldn't ask for more. I think it's going to be a relatively safe night. So I think I'm just going to get everything set up in the back and then get ready to chill a little bit. All right. Yeah. <sighs> Chilling in the crib then, pretty good. I've got to say though, the temperature outside is definitely dropping. It's not winter yet, but it's definitely becoming autumn. Still not cold in here though. I think I'm going to get the kettle on and warm the little place up as well. And I've got a special one to warm up my belly just before bed. If I can find it somewhere in here. Oh, nice. <laughs> Straight in there. Yeah, check it out. Like honey syrupy porridge raided straight from the cupboard of dad before i left for the trip nice cheers dad mm. running low on gas last can fingers crossed fingers crossed it lasts the trip Oh, got a crack of window, it's getting hot in here. All my days. Oh, check it out. My last tea bag. Aye, I forgot to stock up. Yeah, bit of a manky one as well. Two day old milk that's not been in the fridge, or a brand new fresh one from this afternoon. Mm, taking the new one. Oh man, steamy as hell in there. Bubbling away nicely though. Ah, burnt my hand. Yep, that hurt. Oh, this is gonna be a disaster. This thing says I've got to like, fill the bag up. Aye, I don't like to fill the bag up. You know me and Blags. Oh, that sucks, that's so wrong. Man. That'll do it. Look at this thing. Maybe that's too much water. Oh, I don't know. Smells lush as heck though. I'm not gonna lie, I can really smell the honey. Oh, nearly burnt my hand. Nice. Cup of Rosie Lee and some honey syrup porridge. Get in there. Well, I think it's about 10 o'clock. I think what I'm going to do is just eat this up, drink my tea, have a little look on the maps and the apps to see what's going down for tomorrow and then get my head down. So hopefully, I think it's going to be a sweet as night. Great little spot. I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, time to see what the location's looking like in the daylight. And... Oh, looking pretty dang sweet. Oh, wow. Not bad at all. Good morning, world. Right, let's get the kettle on. Ah. Uh. Well, first coffee in the morning then, but gotta be honest, I've woken up to a bit of a disaster. And to be fair, it's number three in a line of, let's say, fuckers for this trip. Let me explain a little bit. The first mess up happened on Friday, the day I wanted to originally leave, but because I had problems with the car, I ended up leaving Saturday morning. The second mess up was yesterday when I wanted to actually drive over here early doors but ended up not leaving my car camping spot till about 12 and then having to rumble round to a town to get supplies for the evening meal and instead of coming over here early we ended up hiking around some dodgy little druids temple and now this morning the third mess up I set the alarms for half past seven to eight o'clock 
and finally woke up at nine o'clock this morning realizing that the phone had got absolute zero power and not only did the phone have zero power but both the gopro batteries are on zero as well after charging one of them to 100 percent last night i guess i must have left it on by accident but it is what it is there's nothing we can do about it and i'm in an absolute legend of a spot let's be fair but it does put the original hiking plan on its head a little bit. I'm no way going to be able to do two mountains today. I'm just going to have to hit the one side. And instead of starting it at 10 o'clock this morning, I'm looking at maybe starting it at 12, 1 o'clock. So. Which means instead of setting off early, I think I'm just going to spend the next couple of hours charging batteries, chilling out and cooking up a bit of feed. Still should be an absolute epic hike. Five to seven hours on Yorkshire's highest peak. So hopefully the weather's looking pretty sweet. I got blue skies in front of me, little gray behind, but if it holds out, we'll get epic views. And either way, it's gonna be an adventure. So let's do it. Well, the day started with a bit of a disaster and now we've got a tough decision to make. I'm joking really, I mean there's no decision to make, I don't even know why they put these ones in the pack, it's got to be Nesquik, chocolatey round bits. Well, I know that looked like a simple thing, but you should have seen one of my previous videos. It didn't go quite so well. <laughs> ah, growing up in the world, learning things. Didn't spill it this time through the box. I'll tell you one thing though. It's a nice blue sky day, but it's dang fresh. Ooh, I need my woolly hat on. I'm not being funny, but what an epic view to be cooking breakfast up with. And next up then, pancakes with something special. Suggested by one of you guys on the channel, Chocobee chocolate spread made with honey. Oh my days. This thing is gonna rock. I've got to have a quick taste of this. I bet this is legend. Oh no, it's childproof. <laughs> Let's get in there. Oh wow, look at that gooey chocolatey goodness. Oh my days. It looks honey fired as well. Oh, mate. What? Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think I need to try some more. Oh, mm. That's going to go really well on my pancakes. That's legend. <laughs> Ugh, black bit. I don't even know what that is. Hey. Oh, but days. Good to go. Right. <sighs> Check it out, I just broke my plate. I dropped it and chipped a bit. Aye. <clears throat> oh, that looks like way too much oil. Oh, there's all I can smell coming off that frying pan is the uh, stir fry thing from last night. That's not good. Aye, 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 that stinks. This first pancake's gonna taste well weird. Oh, it looks too thick as well. Oh, man. Nightmare. Aye, aye, aye. Oh shit, nearly got oil on the bed. Oh my days. Good tool for this one. Got the spatula. All right. Oh man, first pancakes not stuck. Here we go then. Oh, tight quarters. Oh no. Oh, just, just, just. Just got away with it. Yowza. 
It does stink like that. Stir fry though. Meh. Oh no, fucking <laughs> lip in it. I actually missed the uh, the plate. Classic. All right, let's get some of this bad boy on there. Yeah, I should have heated the spoon or something. Damn it. Well, it might not be pretty. Oh yeah, yeah. But I'll make it work. Ah, apart from the technical disaster, a pretty tidy start to the day. Blue sky, sunshine and drippy chocolate pancakes. I think I've got about another hour's worth of charging left to do, so I'm slowly going to pick my bits together and uh, head out on the trail. Right, let's go. Well, it's back courts one now. It's a little bit windy, so I hope you can hear me, but... Uh, it is what it is, you know, I'm about three hours behind schedule, so I'm only going to be hitting the worm side, but mustn't complain, look at the views, and to be fair, we really looked out with the weather today, it's probably about the best weather we've had on the trip so far, so fingers crossed it stays like this the whole afternoon, the trail's about five hours, so I figure I'm going to be back about six, half past six, seven, fingers crossed, the start of the trail is about half a mile that way. Ooh, let's get it on. Also, it might bode well that I'm only doing one mountain today because it gives me another excuse to chill out in this landscape in a future trip. Ingleborough is right behind me over there. Wernside is right over there. And the other one, which is Penny Gwent or something, is right over there. So that's three separate locations and three separate trails. Bodes well for future trips. <laughs> There's going to be loads on this one, I tell you guys. Look, check it out. There's me behind me, and I knew there was quite a few parking spaces around here, and uh, hey, there's one there. So you could have chilled out overnight there, and had a better view of the viaduct. Mm, maybe for next time. Oh, the sun's just shone his little head on me face, buzzing, I'm telling you. Wicked. Not even on the trail yet, but check it out. Another spot, and another decent view of the viaduct. Oh, wait. I see number four in the distance. Thing is though, so I'm told, the further you get down this road, the less signal there is for the, uh, the phone and whatnot. Oh shit, better check that. Well, I think the rumours might have been true. It didn't really want to connect, but we got the map in the end. God damn, I can't close that screen now for about the next six hours. <laughs> I think to be fair, I might have to bite the bullet and just buy one of these apps, even though it's like 30 boys for a year. I wouldn't mind if you could buy it for like one month or three months and try it out properly. But obviously if you buy the app outright, you get offline maps so you can download them all before you go. Oh, well, tons of parking here then, and they hadn't drove down here because I thought it was full, or would be full, but uh, I guess I should have just drove down here. Oh well, half a mile, warm the legs up, and I think that's the start of the trail right there, so. The Ribblehead Viaduct then in all its glory, and looking pretty awesome to be fair, and stupidly I should have researched it beforehand, so now I'm going to jump on Google and tell you a few bits about it. Alright, so Wikipedia tells me that the Ribblehead Viaduct, or the Batty Moss Viaduct, is part of a 73 mile long line which runs from Settle Junction on the Leeds Morecambe line all the way up to Carlisle near the English Scottish border. Alright, some cool facts about it. It was built in the 1800s using manual labour and hundreds of railway builders, navvies, lost their lives building the line from a combination of accidents, fights, and smallpox outbreaks. There must have been some serious fights they had. In particular, building the Ribble Head Viaduct with its massive 24 stone arches, 104 feet, 32 meters above the moor, caused such loss of life that the railway paid for an expansion for the local graveyard. Well, pretty grim, but they did a good job. Pretty cool then, we're at the intersection of the trail here and looking like a good little option. This is probably where I'm gonna be coming down and I'm gonna be heading that way up over the ridge up to the top and then guess somewhere down not sure that's the best option but we'll see how it goes right check this guy out walking off in the distance i just had a little like holler with him ah basically he's wild camping he came from like way over yonder climbed up ingleborough last night chilled out up there with the tent and then cut down this way this morning and he's heading back to hit his train up to scotland tonight like a two three day trip he's been hiking and camping out not being funny but i'm kind of getting the flavor for something like that 
Well, we probably lost the sat nav signal. We just got black and red lines now, but I'm totally not fussed. You gotta be honest, I'm absolutely full of beans. I feel full of energy at the minute. I could half run up this place. I don't know how long it's gonna last. Maybe it's the fact we've been up here for two days and I've done a decent bit of hiking already and warmed up. Could bode well, but knowing my luck, <laughs> probably not. First gate then. Oh man. Oh, this one looks complicated. Yeah, not a freaking clue here. It's amazing, bro. <laughs> lift it up. Oh, lift it up. <laughs> <laughs> They're all <laughs> different. Hey, that's what you're doing. Sound, mate. <laughs> oh, man, I bet you think some of our ding but They are all different, though. There's so many variations of gate styles and God knows what. Need a minute degree to work them all out. Or maybe just some common sense, eh? <laughs> nice. Sheep in the field. This one here is doing his uh, morning yoga workout. I'm kind of sure what that's all about. Check him out. <laughs> but hey, what a view. Nice. <laughs> what is the sheep doing? Seriously. Oh, I hope he's not hurt. My dog used to rub his bum along the ground. He's like rubbing his front legs along the ground. I don't think it's a similar thing. I don't know what's going on with the sheep around here. This one behind me is coughing and wheezing like he smokes 20 smokes a day or something. But hey, check it out. These trails. I've got to be honest, if I was a farmer, this would piss me off having like public footway coming past it. Or even through your land here like this. Eh? But on the flip side, it is epic that they allow us to walk through. Ah. Check out the sheep, man. It's coming to say hello. Hello. Come and say hello. Whoa. Bit of a mucky ass, mate. Damn. <laughs> you need to wipe that. Well, it's not going to be an obsession, but hey, gate number two. This one pulls and not lifts. All right. I'm city folk. I'm not country folk. I'm not being funny. We're still on the flat, but what are you doing to me, Yorkshire? Holy shit, what scenery. Absolutely stunning. Oh, buzz. Ah, well, the Krypton Factor challenge continues. This one's a bloody hook. Okie doke. One handed. Getting good at these. Nice, we've got a bit of a sign here then. So, Winter Scales Iskar and then ribble head round the back end. Ah, uh, I don't think we're going to any of them. But I think I'm gonna head that way. I think that's what the trail's saying. All right, look at these three gangsters on the trail. Oh shit, one of them's got fucking horns, I think. I hope not. Yep, they're having a butt. Oh crud, I'm gonna give him a wide berth, me thinks. Damn, he was checking me out. Proper hob haul in there. He's butted them out of the way. And he's checking me out. Look at that. Proper. I'm leaving, fella. Don't worry about it, mate. He is checking me out, though. Oi. No, I don't want to get stampeded by a ram. Damn it, there's another one there with horns. Fucking hell. This is not good. A bit sketchy. Yeah? And they're all checking me out. Oh, no. There's one right in front of me. God damn it. What's going on here? Get over this cat grid, I'm safe. Yep, he's buzzing. Oh, mate. They're a bit frisky. <sighs> Luckily, my claws can go over this and theirs can't. <laughs> oh, the footpath goes straight through someone's land, man. I feel guilty about this. I even spoke to the lady, she's like, yeah, it is what it is. Oh well, that's the most basic one we've had yet. <laughs> Oi, oh, I might struggle with it nonetheless though. All right. Check it out. This one's doing it as well. On his knees, it must be a Yorkshire thing. I don't know. Nice little trail though, through the sheep field. Well, here's something you don't see every day. Got the old sheep dog and quad bite herding the sheep. Pretty sweet. 
end of the easy bit then and I'm guessing this is where the trail starts going uphill. We've got a little signpost here. Three peaks, Yorkshire Hill in and three peaks one side, two miles or one and three quarter miles. But you know, if it's straight up, it could be a long one and three quarter miles. Let's find out. Ah, it's a lifty one. Oh, look at that. So weak. <laughs> As anticipated, it's going pretty much straight up. <laughs> Good help. Check this out then, so we've got a way to climb over the wall, a double gate here and a gate over here. I was thinking like, why would you use that? But this gate don't open and this one's locked. But check this out, this has kind of pissed me off. Middle of nowhere and some bum fuck has left a plastic case of pasta there. I mean, check out the backdrop. Why would you do that? What a dickhead. You bother to carry it out here, bother to carry it back, just stick it back in the bag you put it in when you came out here. Yowza. Turning into a proper little trail though, this is what I've been waiting for on the whole trip. Something up and rocky and viewy. Alright. Well, I think it's fair to say the trail opened up behind me. Stunning. Wicked. Bit steep though. Good though, the whole trail's covered in these steps now. I'm wondering whether these are going to go all the way to the top. Pretty easy hike to be fair. They make light work of the trail. Well, looks like I'm at the end of the first steep bit. Pretty good trail all the way down from that farm, all the way up. And then there's this steep bit here that you can't really see at the minute. Rocky bit and then I'm guessing it cuts up here or something now. But we're about to find out. I'm guessing there'll be a ridge. Let's find out. Ah, buzzing. Still quite a way off, but I'm getting a proper sense that I'm getting towards the top up there now. Ah, it's pretty windy though. Yeah, those storm clouds hold out as well. It's supposed to be a bit of sunshine this afternoon. Don't look at where I'm going though. Wow, well what a legend of a trail this is turning out to be. Check it out. We like done the hard bit and it looks, I don't want to count all my cherries before they pop up. Looks like it just meanders all the way up to the top there, so, and a pretty flat, nice walk. To be fair as well, pretty sick little spot for a pit stop, I think. And check it out, there's even little uh, seaty bits hanging out the wall for me to chill on. Oh man, that's a goer. Oof, wind is hell over the top though. Ball's a nice windbreak. Coffee this time then. I'm all out of tea bags. In fact, I'm pretty much out of all supplies. Nearly out of water, no food for tonight apart from bits, and yeah, pretty much everything else. I need to be doing this full time. Well, great spot for a chill, but I've had to put some layers on. The wind behind me is blowing a hooli, and I can see storm clouds brewing. But not a bad spot, check it out. There's Ingleborough over there. Stooped in cloud, glad we didn't do that one today. And then uh, somewhere over there is Penwy Gwent or Penwy Gwent. That's the other one of the, uh, the three peaks. And up here is our little puppy dog. And with the wind blowing and storm clouds gathering, I think about getting a move on to be fair. So let's do it. A little bit windy, but woof, sun is shining. Weather's sweet, to be fair. It's casting some epic looking shadows. It really is, it's nice. No way. I think the car's over there somewhere. Mwah. Just thinking about this trip as well, you know. It's like the first two days are pretty good, but this last day has been truly epic. And it makes me think, if I do another big trip like this, I want to do at least four or five days. Three days is just not enough. And my mind's already ticking on where I could go and plans of what I could do. But if I'm doing long trips like that, I definitely need a cooler box. 
and I definitely need some sort of power source. I don't want to go a leisure battery too much hassle setting up and where to put it. I was thinking something like a Giacomo, I think they're called a Jackery or a Blue Yeti. I gotta be honest, I don't really have that sort of money to spend on something like that at the minute. You know, the whole setup's pretty basic, it's pretty cheap, so it's way out roll, unfortunately. Damn, I've just hiked back up here because I think this is the top of the mountain, so to speak. There's no trig point or anything, but it looks like from here on in, it just sort of heads down and back towards the viaduct. But woo, yeah, pretty sick view. Top of the mountain, baby. Uh, it's, there's no trig point or anything, it's weird. Normally there's a sign at trig point or something, but nothing, and maybe I've missed it, I don't know. Damn, what a view. <laughs> Buzzing. Monday, oh yes, even better. Oh wow, and I see more sneaky little mountainish type hiking trails over yonder. Maybe for another trip. It really is so much like scope for other trails and trips up here. It really is. I'm gonna have to get on Google and whatnot and uh, do a bit of research and put together some more future trips. Loving the Yorkshire Dales. They call it God's own country. Yeah, I kind of see why. Pretty sweet. Right. Time to start heading back, I think. Let's do it. Well, I'm not gonna lie. I think this has probably been one of the best trails I've done of late. Man, the Cotswolds was good. Staffordshire has been good lately, but, oh man. There's so many good ones, but yeah. This has been pretty epic as well. I'm really relatively easy to follow, well maintained, and to be fair, I didn't really need the app, I could have done it without it. Well this is pretty cool, I was looking at this thinking, oh this looks nice, I wonder why they've done that, maybe just to preserve the landscape, and then I realised like, there's a train line. They've come the other side, proper tunnel. So they've actually built it, so that the train line can go under the river, and they can keep the river flowing. That's pretty ingenious, eh? Cool. Uh, it's been a good one. <laughs> and we looked out with the timing. No people around, just me. Ah, fine little stint then. And I really hope the car's okay. I really should have drove down here and parked down this end. I've walked an extra mile for no reason. Ah, she's looking good, brilliant. And I was thinking I was gonna move down towards the viaduct to get a better view of the evening. But I think I might have the best view right about there. Look at those clouds, pinks and orange. Oh, bliss. Right, I'm absolutely Hank Marvin. I gotta get some food on. <clears throat> Problem is, I don't really have a main meal for tonight. Although, oh, I do have some mushrooms and a bit of, yeah, still got a bit of color left to it. Bacon and bread. Oh. And maybe an egg as well, you know. I could have a bit of a Scooby snack going down here. All right, let's do that. Oh, that's pretty well cooked. Damn. Yep, that's all burnt. Nice. Really hope this bread's not moulder. Kind of looks okay. Been up a few days. How's a out. Man, that's hot. Man, that's really hot. Yep. Oh, it's still sizzling on my fingers. Wow. Ouch. I'm putting the ketchup on the bacon to use as a binding agent to uh, hold the mushroom and egg together. Oh, well, that's my plan anyway. Alright, this one's going to work. Let's not burn my hand too much. Come on, baby. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, there's no spill in the egg, it's already gone. Oh no, there's so much oil. Oh crap, it's not gonna work. Okay, uh, second subtle plan. Ow! Oh mate, what? Come on, I should put the mushroom first. What was I thinking? Then I could have like stuck it in place with the egg. That would have made sense. Now I'm just struggling. Look at this. 
there's oil in the pan I don't want to drip oil all over the uh, the bread I don't like bread and dripping Mwah. all right we're in god darn it that was painful blessed hey and the gas lasted right uh, egg to mushroom or mushroom to egg ah. yep that worked all my days it is a little bit down my shirt as well nice oh wow i really need this food i'm totally wiped out from that hike i'm telling you and the worst of it is we i'm back on the ground tomorrow so i've got a three and a half hour drive to get back to leicester and i'm thinking three options one i stay here for the night and drive in the morning two i drive halfway home to stanley's edge in derbyshire and spend the night there or three, I'll just bite the bullet and drive all the way back. But to be fair, I'm in no rush to make a decision. I'm going to scran up, do a brew, chill out with a bit of TV and then uh, see what I feel like. Well, I'm not going to lie. It's not a decision I want to make, but it's one I've had to make. I'm going to make the move and I'm going to head back to Leicester tonight. It's late already, but I figured it's better than leaving early doors in the morning. So I think also it's probably going to be a good point to end this episode. As always, I really, really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did all the good stuff, hit the like button, subscribe to keep up with the series and definitely hit me in the comments. Love reading all your comments. And as always, take it easy, enjoy the camp and stay stealthy. Ah, oh, happy days. Time to chill with some tunes and kick back for the ride. Wow. Hope to see you in the next, guys.